Hello and welcome to Drinky Talky thing number. What the fuck number is it? Oh, oh God. Christ, the phone! <laughs> <laughs> oh I God, your my phone! And it started to sink. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, going, I'm continuing on. One three six. Drinky Talky thing number one three six. I am drunken gamer. Uh, this is Gal. My name is Paddy. I should probably say that <laughs> instead of drunken gamer just because be people just gamer. no. You're always drunk and you play games. I'm not always drunk. You make me sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> no! As far as I'm concerned now, you are always drunk. <laughs> I have been tempted. Somebody at work... Steve, if you're watching this, hello. Um, decided to do a, uh, a dry October. Ooh. Yeah. No. I can understand Stoptober, not smoking. Yeah. But dry, no. Yeah, he did. Why would you want to do that? Just to see if he could. <clears throat> he, he he broke today. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make it very far. Though. <laughs> it's the eleventh. He managed eleven days without beer. God, that, that's easy though. Not drinking is quite a simple one. But I was thinking I mean, that maybe for as part of November. Right. You're not getting out of November this year. No, I'm going to attempt it. Yeah. That's going to be interesting because I know for a fact. Because obviously I use my recent sickness as an excuse yeah. not to shave, just to kind of test the water. <laughs> and basically, what you're going to see is those bits and nothing there. <laughs> it will be two lines drawn on. <laughs> I mean, these bits grow patchily, yeah. but but it's going to be. I'm going to look like a French waiter. That's okay. That is the look I'm going for. But yeah, I I I thought I could try. Having a beer every day for the month. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, if we're gonna, have you ever watched Parks and Recreation? No. Ah, oh, the character on there called Ron Swanson. He's like an yes. Oh no, I know of Ron Swanson. Man yeah, man. I know of Ron Swanson. If we go down that kind of route, I'm hoping that beer will actually give me hair. <laughs> if I have a beer every day, whiskey, whiskey. I'll have a whiskey every day, and I I'll, I'll, I'll join you in that. I should grow a hair, we, chest should we, hair. Should we do? That? I'll, I'll be a bloody lumberjack when I come in. That's it. For November, we will do a whiskey a day. <laughs> I can't stand it. I despise whiskey. It's the worst thing. I don't. No, I'm I don't a like pamby, right? I don't like whiskey. Simple as that. I can't even drink vodka anymore. Too many times going to spiders. I can't drink straight vodka. It's all I could afford when I first started going. So now, whenever see, I I d- that's it. I never went into spiders. I never. I don't think I've ever drank anything in spiders that only contained one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the simplest of cocktails has a gummy worm in it. I mean, <laughs> Pink Pugsleys. Jesus Christ, those things are fucking lethal <laughs> and disturbing on the way out. Yeah. I just remember, literally, my, my spiders' experiences because I was a child when I first went and not of drinking age. I used to drink Budweiser or vodka shots. You're right? an idiot. Both taste like arse. <laughs> and for both, for the price of both of them, you could have just yeah. bought one pangalactic and been on your arse. Well, I made the mistake of drinking Tizer the first time I went. Oh. I vomited red for a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, me me and my housemates at uni had a, had a bit of a competition. They, they, they were very amused by spiders because... I'm local, I'd been to spiders plenty of times. They were amused by the pangalactic gargle blaster. And um, they started a little competition. Uh, so each week they would have one more pangalactic gargle blaster than the week before. And the person who was the last to drop out of this weekly challenge was declared the champion. Nice. I imagine they, that, ended badly. <laughs> that ended badly for them. Yeah. <laughs> Just right. We'll just quickly translate for anyone that's not from Holland's never been to spiders. Spiders. There is a website. There'll be a link below. <laughs> spiders is a dive. The morals are questionable, as are the people that go there. Yeah. The drinks were dirt cheap, and, and a pangalactic were... gargle blaster is a pint cocktail. Is a pint cocktail and. Green. <laughs> it's very, it's green. very green, and I don't think there's any mixers in it. No, <laughs> I just, I'm pretty sure the alcohol, alcohol, I, alcohol, I'm, 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 and I think, no, I'm pretty sure the mixer was a cider. <laughs> Probably. I just remember I didn't drink many of them. <laughs> I think the rest of my housemates managed three before they they, they bottled out of the competition. I think one lasted me a year. <laughs> <laughs> I just never went back. So, stories. Games. We're here to talk yeah. about games. Um, Why not? Where do we want to start? SimCity, uh, Sony... The Office of Fair Trading. Let's start with it. 
Yes. Woo! <laughs> so the Office of Fair Trading are not happy with in-game purchases. They, they're, they're, no, the Office of Fair Trading are definitely not happy at all this week. They're starting <clears throat> with uh, in-game purchases in uh, in mobile apps. They're going to town on that. And I hope they really, really push it and kind of clean house. Because yeah. some games take the piss with it. Um, well, the, basically, the issue comes in here is the games that have the £60. Yeah. And I, I was listening on Radio 4, because I'm that kind of person. <laughs> and they had a guy from the industry yeah. and somebody who basically had an agenda. Yeah. I'm going, £60 is ridiculous. And he, you could see him kind of, it was going through his head, it is kind of ridiculous, I wouldn't pay it. But he came up with, with a valid point. Yeah. £60 isn't ridiculous if you play the game a lot. Some no. people may play this game constantly, and that sixty pound is fine. But they did bring up an example of a game where you had a pet. Yep. And you got the message: your pet needs a shot, or it will die. Twenty pound for a shot. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Which what the is, fuck was that well, game? It's actually against the law, but it does exist. So what the guy kept saying on the thing was: look, in-game purchases are not the devil. You're taking a few bad examples here. These games are actually against the law. You're not allowed to do this. The Office of Fair Trading can have a field day with this one because it is against the law. They can act on this. Stop trying to demonise all games. Yeah. And this person just kept ranting on, but they're aimed at kids, blah de blah, blah blah And he just kept saying, no, they're not. They're aimed at parents with kids. Parents own these devices. Yeah. The kids don't own the device. You can set a password. You can dab all the parental control in the world. Just because parents are ill-educated is yeah. not an excuse. But sorry, hopefully, no, but yeah. hopefully by the time we're in the generation now where kids, <clears throat> where parents are not going to be ill-educated. Well, no, the, the problem is I, I used to think that, but recent survey showed the demographics to play Grand Theft Auto. Ah, shit, yes. Right? And the weird thing is, a lot of them are older. Yeah. Which means we have a lot of gamer older people, and we still have this problem. A lot of these people that play Grand Theft Auto have kids. If you have Grand Theft Auto yeah, but, but, and you play games, you should be able to figure out an iPad. You should be able to discipline, like keep it control for your kids. The problem is, it's the parents that just don't give a shit. They're yeah. not interested in games. There's still a generation that isn't interested in games. They, they're not bothered with technology. <laughs> Think about the amount of people that you've seen using yeah, iPads no, no, that it. can't actually use an iPad. Well, no, I'm just thinking now about the the office that I work at and how many people in there. We, we're a very high tech. <laughs> it's a technological office, but I would not classify none of them. There's a very small portion of them that would actually be gamers. Smart people can be a bit... As long as they understand technology, it's fine, but... <laughs> Have you ever seen Tales from Tech Support on Reddit? Yes. And they go through some of the stuff, and one of them said, it, you know, it works, it works for a university. These are professors yeah. he's dealing with. And one of them can figure out how to turn the computer on. Daily, w, uh, Daily WTF. Have you ever read that blog? No, but I'm guessing it's in similar vein. It's, uh, it's a programmer's blog. And it's literally where every now and again, a couple of blog posts of just bizarre error messages that have come yeah. up in program. But... It's uh, it's full of blogs like I got a job at, at X location and they did this, that and the other and we couldn't figure out why and it all boiled down to the fact that this guy had been writing in COBOL for 20 years and he was writing still in COBOL but he was doing it in JavaScript. <laughs> I'm going to nod and smile. Yeah, yeah that's really funny. But so... so <laughs> It, it it's worth reading. It's you can you, <laughs> even when you don't understand the coding logic behind it, you'll be able. Cobol to... is a dead language, right? It's not dead, but it's pretty it's, much. Yeah, yeah. See, I got that. I got <laughs> it from the tone. But yeah, the, the other thing the Office of Fair Trading has been kicking off about. Let's keep this on track somehow. <laughs> is simply games. Now I've never heard of simply games. I have. I bought them. You bought from them. Yeah. A few ah. Times. They had good price. They deal. have good prices. Yeah. We can't. We can't. I don't know if they still do. This was this is PlayStation Two time. No, they still they still apparently do. Cool. Um, and they had some of the best prices on the PS4. As a result, quite a few people pre-ordered their PS4 from Simply Games. Yeah. And what's happened this week is Simply Games have found out that they're not quite getting as many PS4s as they thought they were. And have decided to 
Well, basically, be cunts. Yeah, they're forcing people to get bundles. Yeah, basically, which... they've sent out emails to everybody who's pre-ordered a PS4 <laughs> and says, unfortunately, because we're getting less of them, unless you upgrade your package, unless you upgrade your pre-order to one of these pre-order bundles that cost more than 450 quid, you ain't getting your PS4 on launch day. Yeah. And the OFT are jumping on this because it's just not. It, it's it's shameless it's, profiteering. It's, it's profiteering because the well, I, I had to Google this because I thought, well, too right, they're allowed to do that until you realise that these people are locked. They're they're on a pre-order. Yeah. That's where it becomes shady. It's if it'll be pre-ordered, and they yeah. said we're getting PlayStations in first come first serve. Yeah. And then they'd put them in all in a bundle. Yeah. But nobody would pre-order it, it'd be fine. But because people are on that pre-order, and if they cancel their pre-order, they go to the back of the queue with any other company, they're losing out. Yeah. They're, 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 they're extorting basically, them. Basically, as long as it's a win scenario for <clears throat> the people that have pre-ordered already, that doesn't involve them increasing their amount of income, uh, increasing their amount of spend, then it's not profiteering. And there is no win outcome. They're, they're, they're out, their choices are mm. we pay extra money to guarantee our PS4 or we don't pay extra money get kicked to the back of the queue here or we take our money elsewhere and get kicked to the back of the queue there basically you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't Yeah. So hence profiteering so that's profiteering because at that point yeah, the, the natural reaction is speak with your wallet it's always the natural reaction for these things the well, no, what it should be. It should be. <laughs> it should be. Speak with your wallet. But at this point, speaking with their wallet does nothing. Because all they've done is taken themselves out of the queue And somebody else will happily jump back in. That somebody else will fill. Basically they've taken one of the pre order units that they may have got on release day and opened up that slot for simply games to sell that particular pre order slot. To somebody who is willing to pay the extra price. Yeah. Bad times. That's so I'm with the Office of Fair Trade and I hope they screw them royally. Yeah. <laughs> now, something more upbeat. Go Grand for Theft it. Auto 5 is coming to PC in 2014. Maybe. Early 2014. Early early 2014 is when it's rumoured to be happening. And what that'll mean is the PC Master Race can finally play Grand Theft Auto. Yes. Rather than just bitch and moan about the fact it's going to be awesome when they finally get it. It's the one thing I've never <laughs> understood. PC gamers being elitist. This is it. I, I, I don't understand. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. PC anyway. gamers should not be elitist because, quite frankly... You're a dying bloody... Sorry, no, we can't go down that route, but... They are a dying breed. Yeah, I, I want to go back to PC gaming because I yeah. I grew up PC gaming. I prefer PC gaming. But... The barrier to entry. Yeah. I don't have the money to build an awesome rig at the minute. No. Well, I do, but, you know, I'd rather eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have an awesome rig at the minute. And I play Minecraft well, and Warcraft and, <laughs> and Hearthstone. So here we and go. The problem is, indie games are killing PC. <laughs> too, too sensational. <laughs> They're, no, they I kind of are. They kind, they kind. They kind the, the PC master race is. Yeah, we can do this at at 1080p uh, at 4K at 30 frames per second at 60 frames. Who gives a flying rat's ass? If you're playing Thomas was alone, it doesn't matter what resolution you're playing at. It's still a block. Although I did see one the other day that made me chuckle. Somebody put it was a uh, Battlefield 4 on console, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Do it at 720 and put 64 players in the game. Yeah. I'd prefer this. And somebody just put, you can on PC. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, fuck you. But the PC Master Race, yeah, I, I, they, they frustrate me no end. The people that go, I've got 120 frames per second on Warcraft. Yeah. Fucking whoop de doo You can't really perceive much more than 60. <laughs> well, aside from that, whoop de fucking do. In order to play most of the rage, you have to turn it down to default anyway to be able to see the effects on the damn floor. <laughs> yeah, happy times. Uh, where were we going with this? I have no idea. We started with Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto coming to PC. Yes, great. Um, the only upside to Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, 5 on the PC, 
I can see is mods. That's the one thing that consoles will never get that, 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 that is worth keeping a PC around for. The modding community. The mod community. Cause, because Skyrim Zoidberg is enough that that should be. Or I'm even sorry, cheese. No, no. The Skyrim I'm cheese go- mod. <laughs> yeah. Just generate cheese everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to say four letters that completely justify the entire mod community. Counter-strike? No, that's three. No. They're not letters. Yeah, they're not letters that's either. They're words. <laughs> M-O-B-A. Mobber. They've man- the mod community has managed to create, has managed to generate an entire genre. Because... Defense of the Ancients. They developed competitive gaming. Yeah. Counter Strike was the first proper competitive game played in competition exactly. level, and that was a mod. Defense of the Ancients, which is where all the mobbers started, was a mod for Warcraft Three. Yeah. So that's what the mod. That's what the PC master race should be, but should be heralding. Not we can play this game bet. We can play this game at fire. Look at the shiny graphics. Look at the shiny <laughs> shiny. No, look at all these different modes that you will never get to play, you console playing peon. <laughs> well done, Mr. Master Race. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely, I've never understood the, the whole kind of looking down on console. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody had to play the console <laughs> Master Race. That, that word just sums it up. Yeah. Well, I, 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 everyone generally that plays console started somewhere yes and let's be honest most consoles only started with the NES most people that before that well no we, we, we again it's a we're, we're starting to sound we're starting to get dangerously close to sounding very old I know I already am and you are not far behind I'm me getting, yeah it's weird <laughs> I don't like this but we're, we're barreling on to that uh, that Passover point where People's first gaming experience will be console. Can, can I make you chuckle here? There is a generation that think the save button is a H. They don't realise it's a floppy disk. The black bit of a floppy disk looks like a H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus fucking... <laughs> it confused the hell out of me. Somebody said, press the H. What? <laughs> and the only... It's a floppy disk. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> floppy disk? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've actually got to the point where the floppy disk is no longer relevant. Yeah. Beyond being the default save icon. Yeah. Well, this is the problem, and it got me thinking the other day: is when is that going to become irrelevant? The only reason that is relevant now is because we go. You know, you get this whole design argument of skeuomorphism versus yeah. flat design, all that kind of shit. It's going on at the minute. Well, the whole point of moving away from skeuomorphism is that trends change, things change. You don't want to build it based on yeah. You know, and although a floppy disk isn't skewed off, it's referencing something that is no longer relevant. A floppy no. disk means nothing to a new kid. No, but it's been there. That it's there. Exactly. That it's in you're, place. Well, you teach them that's the save icon. If you're teaching them that's the save icon, then it doesn't it's matter not, what it's actually what exactly, it, what not, it used to represent. No, but it's not relevant anymore. Yeah, but it does. It, the, the no, but it doesn't matter what it used to represent. It may not be relevant in terms of what you're doing with it anymore, that has become just a uh, a visual representation of yeah. a saving. But the thing is, in any other icon, when you're creating an icon or using icons or anything like that, you have to create something that makes sense. And a save button doesn't make sense. Yes, yeah, but what would you put in place? <laughs> well, you can't. There's nothing you could put there in there nothing... to save. There is the only thing you could replace a save I- a floppy disk on a save icon with would be a hard drive, but less people would recognise a hard drive. Some people wouldn't recognise a hard drive if you slapped them with it. No, well, why would you? It's a block of. <laughs> well, no, well, no. For most people, it's inside the fucking machine. They don't give a shit no, how it works. No, this is a hard drive right here. <laughs> the tower. That's a hard. Drive. God, that is the most annoying thing. Can you fix my hard drive? No. <laughs> There's very few people that could do that. Do you mean your computer? <laughs> oh, I'm becoming elitist now. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, old the... people aside. <laughs> They're not old. That's the problem. No, we are. <laughs> it's uh, the young people yes. that are the problem. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone very Daily Mail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking youths. <laughs> 
Uh, GTA 5, yeah, PC early 2014. On top of that, um, no, that's another link to G 2014. Uh, what was the other GTA 5 story we had? Another oh, one. If you uh, use GTA Online in October, they will give you 500,000 in game GTA dollars. Yeah. Um, but there's talks of a character reboot and so on. Uh, but they'll give you it in two doses so yeah. as not to skew the the economy. I think it's going to skew the economy, to be Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> but then again, GTA Online is just about wiping each other out. When you say that, the best thing I've seen was uh, somebody got a hit put on the head, but had yeah. joined a... I forget what they're called. They're not clans, they're not guilds. Uh, Whatever they do Crews. GTA, crews. Joined a crew. Yep. Yeah. Nine grand bounty on his head. He's running away. Two cars chasing him. Yeah. Some guy just came down in a Chinook. Picked him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And just one of his crewmates just came to save him. <laughs> I just thought that if ever there was a definition of online gameplay, that should be how it works. Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> because all three of us have have it. Me, you, and yeah. Craig should do it. We, we need to definitely get involved because, well, it's awesome. Yep. GTA is the first MMO that has mass appeal. Yeah. I think everything else has had this kind of... It's set in a realm where not everyone is interested in kind of fantasy realm. Yeah. Whereas GTA is... It's not realistic. Yeah, the, the, that's, it, that's the problem with MMOs. They either go fantasy or they go futuristic. And there's, uh, there's no realism. Yeah. The, the, the only Second realistic... does not count. <laughs> no, the only realistic... The only modern time realistic one is Secret World. And again, they've gone fantasy. Hmm. Because they've got all the uh, Illuminati secret world shit. Yeah. Um. Oh well. But either way, good news. Okay, so because we didn't pause or anything to get sweets, hmm. um, let's finish off these um, this half on legal stories because we've got a few of them. The first is the fact that Zynga have settled the trademark dispute with the company. Bang with friends. <laughs> it's undisclosed as to how they settled well, it. To me, this just means that bang with friends are actually making money. Yeah. <laughs> Which, it baffles me. It doesn't say how they settled it, other than bang with friends will now be changing its name. Oh. They're not making money then. They're just changing the name, they've just settled. Yeah, no, no. Bang with Friends Inc. acknowledges the trademark rights that Zynga has in its with Friends marks and it will be changing its corporate name and rebranding in its services in the near future. There is also a second part of it that they do have to give Zynga some money as well. <laughs> nice. Which means that Bang with Friends was making money. Yeah. What's the bet they come back? Fuck you, mates. Yeah. It's going to be because, I mean, it's. I find these apps absolutely repulsive. I mean, I, I genuinely I don't understand the whole. No, no, there was a weird thing. I can Grinder. I can understand Bang with Friends if it's a dating app. Really? Do you quite fancy your mate? Yes. You don't actually get together unless the other person says yes. That that kind of saves the embarrassment. Yeah, until your friend decides to sign up to the app to find out who's... <laughs> Just puts yes to everyone. Puts yes. Oh, everyone doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes me. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scruffy bastard in the corner likes me. I can't imagine anyone would game the system like that, though. Because if you're not really that interested, you probably wouldn't get the app. Every female on the planet, to get a bit of a laugh, would have done it. I, I think you... One of us misunderstands females. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a drunken female thing <laughs> to find out who liked them on that particular rap. If a girl's drunk and she's on her Facebook app. No, no, no. No, but as a group of them, they'd all do it as the group. Job. <laughs> we need female input. Right, there's an app called Bang With Friends. Okay. Basically, you say... Go through your friends list on Facebook. Say yes, 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 yes. That other person, if they put yes against you, it connects you and says, hey, you both want to bang each other. Right? Imagine that as a dating app. Do you think that would actually work? Or do you think well, do you think guys would go through, tick the ones they want, and girls would go, let's just click yes and see who likes me. Yeah. Oh, see? fuck. Well, I also <laughs> Thank think, you. I also think that most of the time women know 
which of their male friends are attracted to them. Yeah, it's quite clear, isn't it, really? Yeah. So you... they would know anyway. Yeah. And it, basically, if a guy's ever sent you a message, how are you feeling? He wants to bang you. That's, no, no, that's no, 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 no. If, if, if he's ever, ever sent you it with that particular term, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> you want a bit Irish. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move Top on. Of the mornings, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Top of the you really, really, really want to have. Uh, oh, the other... look at your tits. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> uh, the courts have sided with Activision Blizzard on the Vivendi merger yeah. split thing bollocks. Uh, Basically, one shareholder spitting his dummy out isn't enough to stop an entire... <laughs> I understand but then, well, no, no, he had a fair point, and he may still have a fair point, but he's lost his argument <laughs> yeah. at this point. because it's going money. Because it's going ahead whether he wants it or not. Yeah. Uh, the other one, where are we? THQ are now suing the UFC and EA on the grounds that EA took advantage of the fact that THQ were going bankrupt. Because THQ... Or so they say. We don't know for yeah, definite. Yeah, we don't know for certain. Now, what THQ are claiming is that they offered to sell themselves to EA, and EA took advantage of that insider knowledge of their financial situation to convince the group that owned the UFC licenses to break off their agreement with THQ and then sign the agreement to EA. I'm starting to think this is desperation. Because let's be honest. I know, I'm starting to... I, I could believe that. Oh, I can believe it, but getting proof? Yeah. You need proof for a court case. You can't just say, we went to them, and then suddenly they got our franchise. I think, I that, I think, that. I think there'll be a bit more proof there than just circumstantial, but... Yeah, but THQ's gone. The company still exists. And the last <laughs> of their franchises actually go on auction on... What day is it today? It's the 11th. They go on auction in four days' time. Right. They're last of their IPs. Yeah, but they're, they're a dead company. They're and dying. The, and they're, think, dead. they're pushing up the daisy. They're pining for the Fiat. Yeah. They're I gone. Think, I, think, I think the THQ brand actually goes in uh, on mm. the 15th as well. But so they're, they're, this is somebody desperately trying to get money. Mm-hmm. Because they owe a lot of money to a lot of people. Yeah, I just, I this reeks of desperation to me. I don't think this is a, an even a worthy court case. I don't think EA daft enough to leave a paper trail. If you're gonna do that, because you, uh, you no, were you Z- no, 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 Zampello West. That wasn't. That was Activision. They uh, EA left the. Uh, oh, that the, conversation. Yeah. yeah EA left the paper trail of the conversation. That meant that Activision basically had to pay John Peller and West for call. But again, didn't screw over a year. Not all that much. No, but <laughs> they, they, they're not known for hiding their paper trails. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> but usually when you have talks like that, you would sign some kind of NDA. Yeah, but that's probably what the court case is about. If, they could, if, if THQ can even in the slightest prove that EA breached their NDA... Yeah, that point. And use that knowledge to steal the UFC license, a license that is very profitable and if, could... If, if this is true, I'm going to hate EA a little bit. Because I always More. defend them. <laughs> no, no, I always defend EA because they get a bad rep. Yeah, they do get a bad rep. But, but this is... If they lose this court case, they're, they're pretty, you can't defend them. No, there's no there, there is no defence of what... They, yeah. they, 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 there is no defence for this. But it could just be that THQ came to them, they thought THQ are dying, we'll just sit back and wait. They could have sat back and waited, but I don't think the, UFC, the, the UFC licence changed hands before THQ folded. But that's it. I don't see the benefit of them doing that. If they knew THQ were going down the pan, it could have just been a conversation with... Yeah, it could have... It, no, there's nothing to say this is how it actually went down, but that's... Yeah. I, I just, I, I find it odd that, you know, companies dying, clutching at straws. That's how I see it. Yeah. But we'll see. 
I think we should I'm put trying a song not in. to hit you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's where I am at the minute. <laughs> should, we, should we stick a song in? Yeah, why not? I can't remember what the song is. Trevor's song. Trevor's song. It's the one called Trevor's song. Okay, that song, while Gao is eating the popping candy, is uh, Trevor, You're My Angel by uh, Artist Unknown, because I can't remember what the fucking <laughs> artist was. But anyway, we're going back back to the uh, the gaming news while Gao can't speak, and we'll start My with, brain. <laughs> with the fact that Sony Sony's bosses are saying that indies will not benefit from perpetual exclusives. Which is, is fair enough. Hmm. So basically, one of the Sony directors going basically, yeah, constant, ex- uh, permanent exclusives are no longer... This is indies don't benefit from perpetual. Yeah. But in that perspective, of course, they're not going to because indies generally don't get as big sales. No. So they need as many platforms as they can. But I, I, to get as much as if they can. if they're looking at that mentality for indies, then there's nothing to say that Sony aren't also looking at that mentality. I see this as a as a as a kind of mood shift for Sony hmm. towards if they don't own the studio, then they, the 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 games that come on that console are not going to be exclusive. It kind of feeds into Sony's entire uh, service, not system mentality that hmm. they, they've been heading towards. I find it odd that exclusives actually thrive. Hmm. Because well, well. I, I, I don't know the stats. That's the problem. I don't know how many people own both consoles. If you own both consoles, it's not a problem. You just buy it for whatever it's available for. Yeah, but it's part of a new generation. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> Popping the, candy's great. <laughs> the start of a new generation, they are unit shifters. It's like listening to Paddy on a hmm. gramophone. <laughs> Just pop some whistles and cracks and all sorts in there. I should they, talk about Paddy's cracks. <laughs> um, oh, 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 <laughs> they shift. They shift uh, hardware at the start of a generation. 
But as the generation continues, then they become less relevant. Exactly. So building an exclusive five years down the line is pretty pointless. Yeah. Having one to start with, yeah, you can kind of understand it. But having a timed exclusive, it can shift more unit. It can shift more units of a software on that particular ha- on that particular platform than it may have done before. Because if you can release on both, people are going to pick whichever of the two is their natural. Yeah. And if Sony is the platform that gives you the higher profit margin, then you're going to want a timed exclusive with PlayStation over Xbox. Sony will probably have to pay less as well if it's any timed exclusive. Yeah. Sony so, will pay less for it. It's a, it's a win-win marketing. It's a win-win uh, profit-wise. And I'll be honest, I just want to play volume. Yes. Mike, get it sorted. However, I assume he's listening. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Um, I want to play Flower. It's on the PS4. I did not know this. It's also on the PS3. Yeah, but it's in the <laughs> it's on the PS4 at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Right, just read back. I know. I'm Go going through back. that in your head. What you've just said. I know, but it'll, it'll look prettier. <laughs> Graphics. <laughs> it look prettier. It, it's it's shiny. Shiny. Yeah, pretty much. Flower versus flower on PS4 is like a penny versus a shiny penny. <laughs> I'm going to take the shiny penny. Everyone loves a shiny penny, but then after a while you realise you're going to have to spend your shiny penny. It's still shiny. It's the same penny. I don't care. It's still shiny. I, was that a good analogy? Did <laughs> yeah. Did you just manage a decent analogy? <laughs> Twitch HD Picker. remakes are like shiny pennies. That's pretty much what we just B- said. Make a new story. <laughs> what? Pick a new story. Okay, Crytek's Warface is getting playable women soldiers. I and didn't it's just fucking read a hilarious. It is, right? But <laughs> they, they give the option to the community on how to style these soldiers. Um, if you're going to give put women soldiers in the if game... No, if you're going to put women... Into a sh- uh, into a shooter, and allow the community to vote on what the female should look like. You're gonna get boobs. Yeah, you're gonna expect cleavage. Yeah, this is this is the problem. Basically, what they've done by saying we're gonna have women soldiers is basically we want games to grow up a little bit. There you go. I'm gonna yeah. share candy sticks with you. Um, we want games to grow up a bit. Uh, you know, let's. Let's give a fair thing. You can have women, men, transgenders next. I can't wait to see transgender in games. Anyway, they give you. Hang on, how do you tell? What? (laughs) The point of transgender is you can't tell. You can tell. Adam's apple, big feet. Um, what? That's going from male to woman, obviously. Otherwise, no Adam's apple, little feet. (laughs) My point is. They're trying to give the option of, you know, all this extra variety. Yeah. And I do feel at the moment there is a bit of a a stigma in the gaming market where every single new site and every single site is catering, and even developers starting to cater towards women, but not in a meaningful way. No. This is a perfect example. They've put women in and then said, how should they look? And everyone's gone, tits! Yeah. I mean, that is, that is it the, really, it really is the di- the digital gaming equivalent of tits. I'll get the fuck out. Yeah, nothing productive has come from this, apart from well, the one thing that <laughs> you've, is productive. You've learnt which countries are slightly more gender inequality. Yeah. Equal. Well, no, no, no. I've learnt a couple of things. It's yeah, gender inequality. They 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 opened it up, and the models that they shown were the the the, the trooper, the the female is wearing very little armor and has her cleavage popped out. Hmm. Well, and she's then, covered up, but her tits out. I don't yeah. get it. It makes no sense. So, the Chinese market and the Japanese market, the cleavage is even more pronounced. The the figure, the the the, the body shape is even more. But what gets me is like she's wearing camo, but has her boobs out, as if somebody's going to go, "Hey, look, floating boobs!" <laughs> <laughs> Come on. To be fair, if I had a gun uh, and there were floating boobs, that I'd be distracted. What, you wouldn't shoot them? No. Oh. I'd be watching them. I'd be freaked <laughs> out. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> but it, it kind of shows the point that it's all well and good. Kind of the whole, look, we have women in our game, but when you give it to mass market and say, yeah. design our women, they're going to go tiny waist, big boobs, pretty face. Yeah. The other thing that I know 
the other thing that came out of this article is that they also changed the gameplay for the various regions. Mm, this bit I like. So, the fact that the European market likes recoil, but the Russian market likes realistic recoil, so really fucking heavy recoil. But if you put recoil into any game in, in China and Japan, the fucking thing won't shift. So there's absolutely none in that game. Funnily, I think I must be slightly against the norm for Europe. Why? Because I I can't remember what game I was playing, but it had proper recoil. Yeah. And I thought, oh, thank God. I haven't had this in a while. It was like a... I don't know, it's like a a trip down memory lane. Because games recently, Call of Duty and so on, they don't have as much recoil. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't feel like you're firing a gun anymore. See, I don't care. I couldn't care less about recall, either way. It feels like, I know it sounds daft, it feels like you're holding a gun. I'm from the Doom era, so recoil is not a thing that existed. (laughs) Yeah, fair enough. I don't know how I can elaborate. No, I'm going to pee. The BFG, even the BFG went, (laughs) as you fired it. I mean, come on. Yeah. So let's move on from there. Have we covered SimCity in the offline mode? Uh, We haven't. Oh, okay. it anyway. SimCity team are looking at an offline mode. Sure, That's pretty much that. Um, Half-Life 3 is actively being developed. Quite short headlines, these, actually. I'm possibly picking the worst. Right, the Steam Machine. We haven't covered the Steam Machine yet. So, the Steam Machine, they've announced specs, and as a, a beta, they're doing this, about 300 prototypes will be sent out to certain testers, you can sign up on the Steam website and you have to get your mates involved and basically I, I'm guessing the most popular players, people that play a lot, have the most friends, are going to be influential, they'll be the beta testers. As for the specs of the machine, I mean it, it varies massively. I mean your graphics card varies from a Nvidia Titan down to a GTX 660. Um, some of them will come with an i7, some will come with an i5 processor, even some with an i3. RAM varies from 16 gig to 3 gig. Storage goes from one terabyte to eight gig. I mean, it's it literally covers both ends of the spectrum. So you didn't stop, All right? Um... No, I carried on. <laughs> you sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> um, basically, what what they're trying to do is the the. They're blatantly testing oh, for yeah. high-end rig that sits under your TV and a streamer. Yeah. Streamer will connect to your main machine and power through. That's High-end the part rig. of it. That's the part of the entire Valve announcement that I like. I think I will take up the streaming side of it. Hey, you know what I've just noticed? What? I've, I've always said I'm not going to sign up for the Steam prototype machine because yeah. it's pointless. I don't play it enough for it to be worthwhile. They would look at me and think, well, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But I'm starting to think, I played Steam a lot, so I have a lot of hours a long time ago. Yeah. So it looks like I slowly drifted away from Steam. What would you give to a person that slowly drifted away from Steam? A Steam box. The best one! Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Gabe, <laughs> if I could have the uh, the NVIDIA Titan, 16 gig of RAM, there's a one couple terabyte of, hard There's drive. a couple of our listeners want our friendship so that they can actually get onto the Steam Mosh better. was one of them. Yeah, Mosh yeah, Miller. I, I keep meaning to go on, but I, I just, I don't like the internet. <laughs> you really don't go online, do you? I don't like people. I think that's my problem. <laughs> I had a conversation the other day where I was talking about cause loads of people I work with are going to Glastonbury. Yeah. Oh, we got tickets to Glastonbury. I just said, how much did you pay? So, oh, like £400 or whatever it all costs. And it's like, all right, for £400, you could go abroad. It's like, yeah, but it's Glastonbury. It's like, all right, fine. I like how much s- did we spend going to Leeds? Well, that's it. It was ridiculous. But like I said... Well, that was fucking hilarious. Okay, you can go abroad... And enjoy yourself on a holiday. Somebody said, there's a festival in Spain. You can have nice weather and a festival. Yeah, but it's full of people, isn't it? I mean, the last thing no, I want to do is to sit in a field full of people who I have nothing to relate to. People that annoy me. I suppose, yeah. And uh, uh, camp. At least we did to... spend spend the time as a group. I and... spent less in Thailand than I did at Leeds Festival. Yeah. I was there for three weeks. I was there for four days at Leeds Festival, eating shit burgers. See, you were eating from the wrong thing. We were eating... We were... I'm sorry. I, I had a revelation at Leeds Festival. <laughs> a, a completely biblical, biblical level revelation. Don't put your tent on a hill. 
<laughs> nope, what that one was it? <laughs> no, because I rolled down my tent every freaking night. See, we Sorry, we, got in, we got in the bed the other way around, so we were... <laughs> yeah, I started that way and slowly crept round. Every morning I'd wake up in a heap at one corner of my tent. No, no. Our Whilst round... we camped opposite a DJ stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? Uh, no, the uh, the revelation I had was Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings. Jack, I'll agree with you on this. Yorkshire puddings used as a wrap. That is, I mean, that is amazing, banger, isn't it? Bang as a mash inside a Yorkshire pudding <laughs> as a wrap. I mean, really, it shouldn't be surprising because Yorkshire pudding is just pancake mix. <laughs> but still, pancake mix wrapped up. St- it was lovely. Or I, t- I became an adult the other night. Did you? I know this sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like... It sounds like a miracle. I'll go into graphic detail here, right? Everyone's thinking, hold up. I say everyone. <laughs> Trevor is thinking, okay. Um, and Fiona is thinking, did we? This what makes sense to... <laughs> <laughs> this what makes sense to Americans, but I made pancakes. Not on pancake day. Come on, right? In, in the UK, we have pancake day. Or Shrove Tuesday, if we're going to be yes. precise, right? And pretty much everyone forgets about pancakes the entire year round until that day and goes, fuck, we can have pancakes <laughs> and makes pancakes. Whereas I thought, I'm an adult. I can make pancakes now. I made pancakes. I was quite proud of this. Right? Give me something. No, no, no. I'm, gi- I'm giving you that. Uh, uh, come back in two years time when you realise, why the fuck am I making pancakes? Wait, they're, I- they're, they're shit. They're not. Pancakes are freaking awesome, right? The problem is, British pancakes can be a bit terrible. Yeah. French pancakes, they call crepes and put savoury things in. American pancakes, they don't fuck about. They make them thick, they cover it in sugar, and sometimes they put bacon on top. See, I went no, American no. on it, right? Oh, you went bacon. I man. went proper See, pancakes. Now, I, now I'm happy. Now I understand I it. made thick pancakes. I smothered them in maple syrup, bacon, everything, and I ate them and I freaking loved it. I can understand why Americans like pancakes. Yeah. I also understand why America is fat. <laughs> <laughs> it was the perfect... This is after eating two bowls of pasta. Something didn't fill me last night. I just kept eating. But it turns out I like pancakes. Pancakes are... No, I can understand pancakes to a degree. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't understand pancakes because they're, they're, they're just flour and water. No, flour, milk, eggs. And a pinch of salt. Or if you go to Thailand... Flour, milk, eggs, blueberries. They were lovely. Okay. Blueberry right. So, so, so we've covered the Steam prototype and we've covered... Did you cover Half-Life 3? Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, we've covered Sony Indies. Where the What the fuck stories have we got left? Smash Brothers Sonic. Yes. Oh, that's it. I've done it. <laughs> Sonic yeah. will be in Smash Brothers. We knew it was coming. Yeah. It had to happen eventually. And it has finally happened. It's a rivalry that basically came down to who had the most money. Unfortunately, Nintendo had more money, so Sonic disappeared off of the Sega system a long time ago. Yeah, no, but... Since then, he's just been kind of mulling around, this, turns up every now and again for a okay, social, has this, a drink. This, will sh- this is the game that will shift we use. Yeah. Could Because Smash Brothers now has the one thing that every 30-year-old on this <laughs> fucking planet wanted... Which was the final opportunity to see who could win in a fight, Mario or Sonic? I want to point out Sonic is a flawed character, especially no, in the Smash I don't, Brothers universe. Yeah, I don't. I know this, and I'm expecting Sonic to be completely shit in the game. Yeah, <laughs> just a, a fuck you from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've made Sonic. It turns out he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is with Sonic, he is the juggernaut of of yeah. gaming. He has to get up to speed before he's any use. Yeah. I mean, you, you could... Well, s- no, it depends which generation... I suppose genera- he could sit there and charge. No, but- d- depends which generation they give him. Because, yeah, they can sit there and charge, in which pace, guess he, um, at which point he effectively becomes E-Honda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but again, you just you see Sonic charging. I think I'll just stand up there. Yeah. Good luck, mate. He can't get you. I mean, this is... No, no, but if they go up a generation from Sonic, Sonic has a homing attack. That, that that to me isn't proper. That, that, that's I'm not sorry. proper. That's yeah. not proper Sonic, but it's modern generation Sonic, and that's, I reckon they'll give him it. I, 
the one thing, right, Sonic should be simple. It should be the faster you run, the more lethal you are. I realise that's not quite the case, but you press no, down, you no, roll, no. you kill anything. Go right? back, seriously, go back and play Sonic 1. Yeah, the, the faster the, you run. No, 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 no. Press down, roll, nothing can kill you. So, yeah, but and Sonic, Sonic 1 was not that fast. No, I know. You, could you charge on Sonic 1? No. Was that, it was Sonic, Sonic 2. Sonic, Sonic 2 was where the charge ability came. Yeah, and even then, right, the the mortal enemy of Sonic is water. Yes. I I feel that should be exploited somewhat by Mario, being a plumber. Yeah. <laughs> but but this <laughs> is, this, it will shift we use because... 30-year-olds like me will want to see the final battle between Sonic and Mario. Paddy, let it go. Right? It's not a popular console. It's not a popular it's console. It's not going to shift. It is going to shift. <laughs> Particularly as this week they released three new consoles, uh, three new bundles, and one of them includes Wind Waker, and one of them includes both the Mario games, and they haven't increased in price at all. Even though they now include games, yeah, fair enough. It might. Shift. Basically, <laughs> I fucking couldn't. But you be ab- any pissed off. You've been able to play those little doodly games ever since you've had it, and Pikmin from like a month ago. You want to kill me, don't you? <laughs> Pikmin was good. Pikmin was worth it, and the Wii U has overall not been worth it. It's been a poor launch. Nintendo are a slow burner; they always have been, but this time they've got it wrong. This is the no, first no. time. No, no. This time, this time, this, so time wrong. this is what. The, here's what they're doing wrong, and I'm going to say it because I've said it before. Here's exactly what they're doing wrong. They are not releasing the DS games on the Wii U. Yeah, fair point. Release your digital 3DS games on the Wii U. You will shift a fucking shit ton. Yeah, just do Give it me a po- discounted price. Job done. Don't, don't even include the discount. Give me Pokemon X and Y on oh, the fucking yes. Wii U. Job done. Yeah. Fucking Pokemon on the big screen. That'll do me. In fact, now I'm going to drop that entirely. Give me a Game Boy and Pokemon Red. Or Blue. Or yellow. I couldn't care less, really. I want old Pokemon. I loved old Pokemon. It was yeah. simple. I liked it. Although I was confused the fact that Brock and What's a Face wasn't following you around everywhere. Oh, that's because of the yeah, the TV show. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um. Pikachu's getting his own game. Oh, fuck off, Pikachu, you glory. I hunt. really didn't like Pikachu. I want a Meowth game. Meowth was the better character. He was a sly bastard, wasn't he? Yeah. He was, yeah. Meowth was the brains of the fucking outfit. <laughs> Jesse and James. I want a Magikarp game. <laughs> it's pretty much an aquarium because he's useless at everything. <laughs> How did you even get Magikarp to evolve? I can never figure this out. Uh, basically, you set him as your default Pokemon so that he popped out first and then you, your first move was to swap him Put out him to somebody away. else. Yeah. <laughs> And then he gained experience, and then is a, it, eventually it, you get a badass fish. Until until you get a fucking uh, Gyarados. Yeah, it's, it's basically a Hydra, a big yeah. ass dragon thing. Uh, the same with uh, Kakuna and uh... they were lame, weren't they? Some <laughs> of the Pokemon. It's like, well, how are you gonna? Really, the theory of evolution only works if they wouldn't die in their initial form. Kakuna and what's the other one? There was two of them. Weedle's second form. I have no idea. Was that Kakuna? I have no idea. I'm just going to nod and smile. But look at it this way. The theory of evolution works on survival of the fittest. If you're a fish that flaps no, about no, on no, land, but, you but, are no, not no, going no. to survive. No, this is the thing. Pokemon called it evolution. It wasn't. It wasn't evolution. It was metamorphosis. Evolution is something completely different. This is... There is there is yeah. there are a lot of jokes online where cha- uh, just random images of people drawing Charles Darwin looking at Pokemon. And, this isn't what I was on about. <laughs> you imagine the religious nuts <laughs> looking at it. Well, clearly this is fake. This never happens. <laughs> we have proof. Pokemon proves that evolution is fake. Um, I don't I don't get it. I just. But I would take it on the Wii U. Even metamorphosis. Yeah. A fucking Magikarp would not survive anything ever 
No. A slight breeze and it'd be dead. Hell, if it's not in a puddle, it would die. Yeah. I mean, even how do they fit in the little balls? <laughs> Right, I just realised I am picking on the wrong aspect of this game. Right. If you're able to take little balls off your vest thing and throw them, and this huge thing comes out, something's wrong. How? How? Well, if, if no, we can make these even, little balls, why does he have to traverse the country? He can collapse time and space to fit a massive beast into a tiny thing, but has to walk. Yeah, collapse the fucking world and go through. Yeah, I just I don't I don't get how he has this level of technology which is commonly found and sometimes in bushes. Oh, you found a pokeball, something that can compress time and space <laughs> in a bush. <laughs> but you don't have a car or anything means of travelling long distances. I just I'm lost. I, I feel I that think, I, I feel I, I, Pokemon I, is slightly flawed. I believe we're overthinking this. They battle in gyms for God's sake. Nothing high tech, a gym. It's like a sports centre. Yeah, it's a they, crappy little place. It smells like sweaty socks. What pissed me off about them? The, the the thing that pissed me off about all the fucking bastards before you get to the gym leader. <laughs> just there. They were purely there to drain the fucking health of your Pokemon until you got to the gym leader. Yeah. Because unless... If you're a pig-headed bastard like me, you went for the fucking gym leader anyway. You, you got to the end and your Pokemon were all beaten to shit and back. You went for the fucking gym leader anyway. They said, go, Ra- Magikarp! Blah. <laughs> rather than going back Never to the... Never mind. <laughs> rather than going back to the health centre and getting them all healed and then going and taking on the gym master. But again, you see the problem here. It's like it was structured to be some kind of game and not real world. <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't get it. Anyway, Pokemon is flawed. Yeah. Any other series I've seen generally tries to explain things with pseudoscience. Pokemon hasn't even tried. No, they, they fucking gave up it's long like, ago. How do they fit inside that? Oh, it's, a, it's a TARDIS. It's a ball. Yeah, it's a ball TARDIS. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> if, they, if they use the words TARDIS, if they use the word TARDIS at any point... You'd accept it. I, I would just go... <laughs> Fine. I'm happy. Fine. <laughs> Did you hear... In Doctor Who news, they, they dis- found the, the, the missing hundred episodes. Yeah, they found them. Sixties episodes of Doctor Who found in Nigeria, was it, or something? Uh, daft? Uh, Albania. Yeah, it's just they found one, why <laughs> they found one hundred of the missing episodes in Albania, which means we pretty much have a full Doctor Who collection at this point. Bring it out on fucking DVD. I will buy. The lot. Yeah. That doesn't <laughs> surprise me. You'll be there with your little fairs watching it. I'll be there. Make it a midnight fucking launch. I will be there. Full <laughs> costume. Sonic screwdriver in one hand. Fairs on my head. <laughs> Why not? We were talking about games at some point <laughs> during this conversation. Call of Duty Ghost wants your entire hard drive. It oh, takes up yes. 50 gig, requires 6 gig of memory and a reasonable graphics card. Fucking 50 gig. Yeah, I just wanted to get the kind of stats out there. <laughs> the memory's not an issue. 6 gig, that's standard no, for gaming. No, six, 6 gig is acceptable. Yeah, but 50 gig for a hard drive. Anyone with a solid state hard drive. I'm going to jump in with one. This one. is a very long sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump in. It took longer to say than I said. <laughs> Right, World, World of Warcraft. <laughs> World of Warcraft is currently taking up 22 gig of my hard drive. And that game is vast. And that game that is, is fucking huge. Yeah. I don't think Grand Theft Auto... Well, Grand Theft Auto can't be more than 50 gig. Nope. Based on... The fact that it's on a Blu-ray disc. Minute, yeah. So, yeah. 50 gig for Call of Duty, a linear shooter with a few multiplayer. Which raises the question, what have they condensed in the console versions to make it fit on the Blu-ray disc? Screw Blu-ray, DVD. Oh shit, it's PS- Xbox. It's got to work for Xbox, hasn't it? Yeah, at which point, what the hell? 
yeah, don't buy it on the Xbox. <laughs> if they need 50 gig for the fucking PC version, what the fuck have they screwed up for the Xbox version? All, all I can think is textures. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of textures. The dogs better have... That patch better be the right fucking way around now. They better have inverted it and got it right, damn it. I That's want individual story. fucking hairs on that fucking dog for 50 gig. <laughs> I, I want to be able to stroke that bastard the wrong way and the hair stick up. <laughs> but how, how do you get to 50 gig? I've always thought, when people always said, you know, we're going to lose disc medium because the internet's getting better and better. If your game's 50 gig... Yeah, fucking not it losing matter how disc. how good your internet is, it's still going to take a little bit that's of time. Lit- that's literally screwing anybody that's got a solid state drive. Yeah, well, most people invest in 1 to 8 because that's yeah. all you kind of need for games. And 50 gig is, is a lot. That is. I, I just need to check. I can't remember what I bought. You got a 256. Probably. I've got a 256 solid state. Yeah. I and went even a bit. Then, that's a lot of yours gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fifth? I'm going to say a fifth. 250 <laughs> of a five. Yeah. Fifth. There you go. Some good maths, though. We so smart. Um, <laughs> should we go back to. Yeah. The, yeah. Not this, that. <laughs> um, so Call of Duty Ghost wants to steal your hard drive. That's f- I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm com- I, I really I am. I can't think of a single I can't reason. think of a justify single justifiable reason for taking up fifty gig. Right. All all I'll say is maybe it's the same principle as a real dog, but if if Rudy gets in our bed, yeah. I'll sleep on oh, one no, side. Oh no, he he will take up 50% yeah. of the Fiona bed. Fiona sleeps on the other and he takes up about 75% of the space. <laughs> so maybe by putting a dog in the game... Maybe the dog's just taking up that much more space, exactly, yeah. yeah. They take up more space than they actually physically take up. So I don't know what you're doing. I'm just thinking about with this, this space fan. Right. That thing right there. I so don't, I don't know what I'm pointing at. Uh, no, we've done Sim City Offline? Oh, I've already done that. We've done that. You Foxconn it? and PlayStation 4. Oh, fuck it, yeah. Because this story... Right, Foxconn in general. Yeah. Foxconn are the manufacturer that make iPhones, they make PC hardware, they make right. cases, they make yeah. motherboards, they, they make, make everything. Yeah, they make iPhones, they make PS3s, PS4s, Xbox 360s, Xbox Ones, uh, generally every motherboard in any main piece uh, for any main manufacturer... Uh, LG TVs, Sony TVs. Uh... They don't make Sony and LG. Well, they don't make LG. They might make a Sony. LG is South Korea. They don't make LG. <laughs> All I know is South Korea is doing pretty well right now because of yeah. Japan being a bit fucked up. But... but they make. They may not make the panels, but they may make the uh, they control might make chips. The bits, yeah. Because Foxconn can pile shit out dirt cheap. Yeah. And you know how they do it, Paddy? They, they they include students in their workforce <laughs> and force them to do it yeah. by saying, we are going to take X points off your graduation, meaning you will not graduate unless you fucking do this. <laughs> they've, been, they've been in trouble many times before for slave labour, for internships, for hiring underage, when, for people jumping off roofs. When your production line... <laughs> When your factory has to put anti-fucking suicide nets around the side of the building, you know you're doing something wrong. Yeah. But they make cheap shit and nobody really bats an eyelid. Um, but what's happened recently is it's come out that Sony PlayStation 4 has been, made by, it's been made by Foxconn. <laughs> and Foxconn workers are being exploited. Therefore, Sony are exploiting workers. But it's a, it's a massive, massive slander campaign because everyone... Hires Foxconn, yeah. Apple, Microsoft, and Sony. It is that one manufacturer that makes a bit of everything for everyone. Yeah, the, so, the, the thing I was doing on the screen, by the way, was uh, running Disk Space Fan to see what's taking up most of my solid state hard drive. World of Warcraft, which is World of Warcraft <laughs> at twenty six gig. Nice, that's not too bad. You're barely using it. Followed by Adobe at seven and a, uh, seven gig. Yeah. I wish my Adobe took up 7 gig. <laughs> uh, and Steam at 6. Yeah. Yeah, well. But either way, Foxconn are bad. Sony not so bad. Every Well, Sony, Microsoft, Apple, equally yeah. as bad. 
And Apple are bringing out another iPad next next week. Yeah, next. I've heard the rumours of a new one. They, they've got another press announcement coming in a couple of weeks. Their the recent products announcements have done so well, haven't they? Yeah, um, I finally managed to make <laughs> iOS 7 look good. All right. Journey. Yeah. Yeah. Journey back. That's just a white screen. I know. <laughs> I'll put the I'll put the screenshot somewhere on the screen. <laughs> the journey journey background looks yeah. good. But iOS, I'll be honest, there's certain bits of it look brilliant and certain bits... Are shit. Yeah. And have always been. Yeah, well, this is the problem. It's not that iOS has got worse. It's just that people have started to realise. Yeah. Because when I was looking like the calendar app, the calendar app is frustrating to the me. Calen- no, the calendar app used to be usable. No, it's the same. It's not changed. No, it has. It hasn't. It has. It hasn't, right. And Android... You go on calendar, you pick out your dates, you have a grid. You click on the grid, you can put anything in that space. On Apple, you have to click add in the top corner, which doesn't relate to the grid in front of you, which makes it the most unintuitive thing in the world, but it's always been like that. Those kind of daft things that they could have improved but didn't. I mean, that's that's where they went wrong. That's what happens when you invite an industrial designer to do your UX design. Johnny Ive is a freaking genius when it comes to designing aesthetically how things look. But the UX stuff... I'm actually thinking now, I don't think I've ever used the calendar in my iPhone. I've used it on my tablet. Yeah, that's because it interfaces with everything else you've got. That's the advantage of Android. I sound like a knob. Stop <laughs> me. But the um, a calendar should go across all your devices. I'm trying to find a story to stop you. Yeah, um, John and... Shop 4 works on PC! What? DualShock 4 works on the PC. Uh, only of. basically. Yeah. They said basic functions, so we're guessing, aren't we? We're, yeah. We're guessing it will well, be they, they've D-pad, said, sticks, yeah. the D- They've said the thumbsticks will, uh, thumbsticks will work. So D-pad, thumbsticks, buttons. But, they, but that means that the touchpad will probably be uh, out of commission. Yeah. And they haven't confirmed whether or not the DualShock will work. Again, not a big issue for me. Not for me either. It's it's just one of those things where if you've got this controller anyway, it's a nice perk to be able to yep. use it on your computer. So DualShock and touchpad aren't necessary, but if they get those working, that'll be awesome. Yep. Um, Diablo 3 uh, expansion price is kind of announced. It'll be $30 for the standard edition, and I think it was $50 for the... Uh, for the yeah. Thirty dollars for the standard edition and fifty dollars for the collector's edition, and this wasn't an announcement of prices. It was kind of a questionnaire about certain things that are going on with the expansion and potential prices. And thirty dollars is kind of standard. It's kind of standard for yeah. a Blizzard expansion, but a collector's edition. I'm pissed. Um, the collector's edition for fifty dollars is kind of up there with World of Warcraft standards. Yeah, but I find this a piss take because nobody ever buys them all. They're not collector's editions. Call it limited edition, and it's fine. Calling it a collector's edition is an insult to collectors because yeah. they're not collectible. No, I it's, find well, it's it more about it, they may as well just call them perks editions. Yeah, because you're buying it for the. Uh, well, I've got three Warcraft Collector's Editions over there. You're buying it for the art book, the mouse mat, which is there. And... <laughs> which one's that from? Cataclysm. That's the Cataclysm one. Uh, you got your collect- your art book your and a couple of digital yeah. collector's things. And sometimes a figurine, sometimes a mouse mat, sometimes whatever they yeah. give you. But I, do you not find it really freaking annoying that they're never worth more? The point of a collector's edition should be that it is collectible. Ah, this is the thing. They are worth more. Are they? If you haven't opened the fucker. <laughs> As with all collectibles, the moment you open the fucker, it loses all value. At which point, it's not a fucking game anymore. It's a box. It's like Schrodinger's box? cat. Until you open that box, you don't know if you've got anything in there. But is that not the point? Of collector's editions. No. But if you buy it... If, no, no, no. Your argument... should be limited quantity. You're, you're, no, you're, 
no, massively they, limited. They are limited quantity that, and they retain their value a lot better than the standard copies do because you can't resell the standard yes, copies. Whereas of, you can resell the fucking collector's editions even if they've been opened. You're and, not though. You're reselling the figurine and the bits and bobs. Yes. You're not selling the actual game. The whole point of a collector's edition to me should have something in there that is not easily obtainable. But if you go on eBay within a week of this game launching, or a year of this game launching, you'll find them not at an extortionate price. No. I find it frustrating. try and find... And if you do, please, dear God, tell me. Uh, <laughs> an original, unopened, unregistered copy of the original World of Warcraft Collector's Edition. Right, granted, you won't find many of them. That's because most people opened them and played them because the point of a piece of software is to open it and play it. But they still exist, and do you want to... I can probably estimate the price at this point. It's a, it, Last time I looked, and that was uh, Wrath of the Lich King. So we're, we're, we're nearly two expansions along now. In fact, we are two expansions along now. Wrath of the Lid King, you were looking at about 750 quid for a unopened collector's edition of the original. See, this is something... I don't get it. I don't get computer software as a collectible. Because if that's unopened... Yep. You can't see anything. There's no display. I can understand a figurine, something that's yeah. sealed and you can see. But that box could hold, have... Bri- Batman! But that box could have bricks inside. Yeah. And you could sell it and somebody would buy it. And they probably would never know because they wouldn't ever open it because that would ruin the value of oh, it. Oh no, I, w- I don't want one to just collect it. I want <clears throat> one to buy it and get the fucking thing. Well, that's it. That's what I don't get. The, the ship from inside. It doesn't make sense for computer software to have any kind of collectible atta- attached to it. No. And it frustrates me. Anywho. Sorry. I think we've run out of stories, you know. I think we have, barring the fact that... Squ- right. Yeah, I'm Obviously, going to go down that OFT, way. Simply Games, Mighty Nine. Mighty Nine passed its uh, Kickstarter by quite a fucking yeah. substantial margin, and praise God for that. Basically, to sum it up in a sentence, it's Mega Man. It is, yeah. It's That's not even a sentence, it's a few words. Well, basically, the creator of Mega Man went, I want to make another game like this and I don't own the Mega Man franchise, so I'm going to just make another game like Mega Man. It's the same thing, it just doesn't have the Mega Man name. Yeah. And I went to Kickstarter for it, and people went, fuck yeah! (laughs) We like Mega Man. Um, On another note, Last of Us started out as Jack and Daxter. It did, it did. Fuck. Which? Fuck. Yeah, they they basically they started with Jack and Dax. They started building up ideas, well, no, no, then no, realised it didn't Yeah, the fit. development team was told, we want another Jack and Daxter game. And they went off and they started coming up with ideas and every time they came up with an idea, they realised, yeah, this isn't a Jack and Daxter game. And then eventually they came up with an idea that was fucking good. Well, they just said, we can't make a Jack and Daxter game. We can't game. make Can a Jack make and Daxter game, but this game is... This idea yeah. is fucking awesome. Let us make a game of this. And somebody... Quite sensibly went. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Um, other than that, the only other news we haven't covered is uh, Square Enix doing a crazy kind of crowd. Oh yes, yes. Uh, Square Enix Collective. Right. Yes. This is Square Enix dodging all uh, responsibility for creation of games based on the IDOS idea, IPs that they own. Look, can I do this simply? Square okay. Enix are going down the pan. They are. Yeah, they're not doing well. Things are going badly. They've launched a system where you can pitch a game based on one of their IPs. If they like it, they'll allow you to go ahead and fund it via Indiegogo, but only Indiegogo. You can then get funded and make a game. So you have 28 days to say, do people like this game? Square Enix likes this game. And then another 28 days to say, can we fund this game? And only after that can you actually make the game. Yeah. Basically, they're whoring out their licenses to anyone that will make a half-decent game and make them some money. Yep. That's pretty much the be-all and end-all of it. don't really want to say much more because I just think it's a bit... It is a bit dirty. Basically, yeah. yeah. We will give you these IPs if you prove that you can make money. And after that, we don't give a shit. Yeah. 
they'll just take a cut, have their money after doing nothing. Um, and finally, to end on a high note, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Fuck, how, how do you Hello this? Kitty has a racer coming to Wii U. Yes. And it looks amazing. It's a unit shifter. Uh, yeah. If ever there was a reason to buy it, I imagine there's going to be bundles everywhere. It's Hello Kitty on the Wii U, and you get to race shit as a cat with a big face. <laughs> Right, should we go through quickly go through the videos and the extra time stuff then? Yeah, why not? Uh, there is a a video of all the poss- all the interesting versions of Trevor that you can switch to in GTA Five, and they are brilliant. And they are brilliant because yeah. Trevor is brilliant. Uh, there is a live action portal short where Glados kills everyone shockingly. Uh, there is a trailer for The Wolf Among Us, which is the Telltale game based on Fable's comic. It looks and good. It looked good. The art style on that is just yep. awesome. A trailer for Injustice Ultimate Edition, which is coming to the PS4. I held off on getting that game. I may buy the PS4 version. Uh, 50 Pokemon facts you didn't know as a video. And typography fans, a trailer for Typewriter. Typewriter, in case anyone's wondering, is a game that looks like Limbo, but the actual area you're traversing is based on different types Typo- of typography. Yeah. So it's actually quite cool. It's kind of a, it's kind of an even more hipster Limbo. Yeah, they've taken Limbo and they've put typography into there, like some kind of hipster bastards. Um, one thing we haven't addressed. Right. Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. Neither of us given an opinion on the game at all. I right, can to... we pause for a second and then we'll give an opinion? Two I... seconds. I don't want to give a proper opinion. I just want to say one thing. What? The game is awesome, but my God, it's cringeworthy at times. Yes. I am sick of the N-word. Yes. We'll right. Come back to this. I was going to end it there. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Bye. If you're seeing this, you've probably just watched a video of us rambling about games or drinking or some kind of nonsense to do with comic books. Or you've watched me playing a game. Yeah, all that. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, you can find us on Twitter. He's Drunken Gamer. I'm D underscore Gal. And you can find us on many places on the internet. But more importantly, there's some little buttons somewhere down here if you're on YouTube. Um, just press one of those, subscribe or like. Yeah, the, the, the one that looks like a thumbs up. We like that one. Yeah, press that one. Because that means lots of people will think we're awesome. And I'll be honest, it's just internet points. Oh, no, no, no. It, like it's not that lots of people will think we're awesome. It's just that Google will think we're awesome oh, and recommend Trevor, us to more Trevor, people. Trevor, Trevor, press these buttons. <laughs> <laughs>